straight white male fatigue. I believe it's an epidemic in the entertainment industry. I believe it is the answer to all of the problems that we have. It's straight white male fatigue. Historically, if you look back, we've had more flops and blunders and issues with entertainment when it comes to straight white men. There are far more failures under the belts of straight white men than any other demographic, historically speaking. So I think it's only fair that we just accuse straight white men for all of the problems in anything entertainment related, whether they're the lead in a film, TV show, or they're involved in the production, creative side of it. It is their fault 100% because now what we do is we just blame everything on identity. Identity is the reason for failures, for everything. So if you look at it, percentage-wise, historically speaking, the majority of failures that have happened in entertainment over the history of it have been from straight white men. So they have to be the problem, right? That, that's the only that's the only common denominator is that they're straight white guys involved in entertainment. So it, that has to be the issue when a movie or TV show or something flops, right? Because that's how it works in 2024. Apparently, you just keep saying something over and over and over again, no matter how ridiculous it is. And then eventually you end up with a bunch of people in your comment section going, yeah, that's based. Makes sense to me. It has to be that. It can't be uh, some other issue. It has to be based on the identity of the person involved with the film, the TV show, cartoon, comic book, whatever it is. And that's the way we view things. Because that's what's happened with Furiosa right now. A movie that came out that initially a lot of people's reactions to it were, this is really good. It's a really good movie. George Miller wanted to make it. It's a character he created. Wasn't a studio mandate or anything like that. He's He's gone on the record saying, I only make things that I want to make. So it's a movie that he wanted to make that has Chris Hemsworth and Anna Taylor-Joy as co-leads of this movie. They're basically co-leads if you've seen the film. But the failure falls firmly on her shoulders, not Chris and not George, strictly on her shoulders. Because it's all about girl boss, even though people have already said that's not what the movie is. But now they're now they're falling in line. Now the narrative's happening. So apparently the, the issue is her. The issue is diversity, equity, inclusion. Even though it had nothing to do with this movie, George made the movie that he wanted to make. But it's all about identity. So what we do is we get online and we find this one thing and we just kind of keep hammering it and hammering it and hammering it over and over until the people that listen to us start to believe it. So if I keep saying that everything that's a problem in entertainment is from straight white men, they're the issue, and I keep saying it over and over and over again, eventually it has to be true. Eventually it has to be the problem. That has to be the issue because that is how these channels, these people function online when it comes to entertainment. And they were very silent on Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling in the lead a movie that had a budget of 130 million and as of this weekend it's only made 145 million which means that is absolutely an issue that doesn't include advertising and it's already on streaming it's only been out a few weeks and it's already on streaming but that can't be the issue right that can't be so we have to look at the common denominator which is white guy straight white guy in the lead of the film it's a flop it has to be because he's a straight white guy it's not for any other reason. It's not because of the economy. It's not because of the direct to streaming stuff, the early streaming stuff. It's not. It's none of that. That's not the problem. The problem is it's a straight white guy. Of course, it's going to flop. We need to be very mindful of Hollywood looking to the marginalized community of straight white men and giving them lead roles in movies and TV shows because that's a problem. It's a problem for Hollywood because a lot of those things, they're flopping. So we're going to ignore all the successful stuff because that would mean that we'd have to be accountable. So we're just going to ignore that and and um, and talk about that. So this, is, this is why it's ridiculous. It's why the whole situation is ridiculous. And then we have the Little Mermaid director um, came out, I guess, a couple of days ago, uh, John Musker, and says that he has an issue with wokeness. I think Disney needs to do a course correction a bit in terms of putting the message secondary behind entertainment and compelling story and engaging characters. And then in the interview, he never once explains what the message is. This is some critical drinker level shit. And he talks about uh, the princess and the frog. He was the director of that in 2009. And um, he says, we weren't trying to be woke. 
Although I understand the criticism. So what is the criticism? There are black characters in the lead of a movie, an animated feature. Is that the criticism you're talking about? He goes on to talk about, uh, what does he say here? Another The classic Disney films didn't start out trying to have a message. What's the message? What's the message, John? They wanted to get you involved in characters and the story and the world, and I think that's still at the heart of it. You don't have to exclude agendas. You have to first create characters who you sympathize with and who are compelling. Because according to him, those two things are not mutually exclusive. So we can't have a good story and diversity and wokeness and all this other shit. We can't have that. You have to pick one or the other. Oh, but my bad. He said we don't have to exclude agendas. So that's still good. As long as we wrote people in with a little extra sugar on top. This is where we're at in the entertainment world. I'm at the end of my rope with all of this, to be quite honest. Because it's gotten so ridiculous. I, I truly believe that the people whose brains have rotted completely are beyond help at this point. All of you idiots who come in the comment section and defend these fucking channels like Nerd Rotic, Geeks and Gamers, Ryan Cannell, Josiah Rises, Hypnotic, Yellow Flash, all of these channels that ignore something like the Fall Guy, including like a person connected to the biggest movie last year, which by the way was female-led, Ryan Gosling, he's connected to the Fall Guy as a lead character, so should have been a home run, but it still flopped. And it was based on a previous IP. It was probably a studio movie, like they wanted this movie to happen, and so they worked hard to make it happen because it is based on, a, on something from the uh, 80s. So... Yeah, but no, silent on that. No comments on that whatsoever because that would break the illusion they've created for y'all. You guys are blissfully ignorant to all of this. And it's it's something you're doing purposely. You are doing it willfully. You're walking in to ignorance. You're walking into the wall willfully for these guys. You're standing on the front lines for them while they're literally lying to you and creating a narrative and coddling you like a little child Oh, we don't want diversity to hurt you. Big, bad diversity. Bad diversity. It's going to hurt you. It's, it's, it's an issue. Giving people equality and giving them opportunities, it's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, the, this is all garbage. Like, all the channels that do this, I, I'm so I'm so fucking over it. And, and it's like, I, if I weren't seeing results in the algorithm, like if I weren't seeing the algorithm sort of break down, and start to get split up like we're seeing now, like the, the results are getting better. Um, if it wasn't for that, I would literally have to walk away from this today because this is, it's just mind numbing. It is so mind numbing. It really is. This is brain rot. This whole situation is absolutely brain rot. And I blame straight white men.